um, welcome to my channel and my video again um, and I'm doing a haul video of all the things that I bought while I was on holiday in Hong Kong, Macau and Zhenzhen. Now this is in no way, I just like to say, um, me bragging or showing off or whatever it is, weird and wicked things that you guys can come up with. Um, I'm not that, it's just that my haul is highly requested. And it's just to give you a little bit of a flavor of what you can buy when you go um, to these places. So it's kind of like a shopping idea list. So hi guys! So welcome to part 2 of my haul. Um, this is solely going to be everything that I bought in Sinjin, um, which in which you can take a MRT over from Hong Kong or Macau. Oh, sorry, you can take an MRT from Hong Kong into Sinjin or you can take a ferry from Hong Kong to Sinchin or from Macau to Sinchin. So in Sinchin there's mainly one place that you shop which is at Tongmen and one of the f I'm just gonna be grabbing things because it's all over the place. Um, in Tongmen um, there is this shop which is called the 990 shop 990 yuan shop so it's like a their dollar store or in Singapore dollars it will be like two dollars so I really got like a lot of things um, they were selling these kind of um, jewelry pieces I'm not gonna take it I'm not gonna take them out of their packaging because these are for my cousins um, something like that yeah you can see so so these were all 990 um, I got this brush which I wanted to try I like the color same price everything in that store is the same price I got a stack of these, um, which is something for my girlfriends, which I'm not going to tell because I know my girlfriends watch these. Oh, but by the time they watch this, it's probably out. I mean, they, I would probably have given it to them first before I put up this video. In any case, these are compact mirrors and I got like a few different colours for them to choose from. Um, I got, there is this necklace that I got from there. I think this is like something like a Cartier inspired necklace. I don't know. It reminds me of a Cartier necklace. Um, this one I know is the LV print um, but I really like the fact that it it's... Uh, let me just take it out for you guys to see. Um, it's actually hair here and on the side there's all this bling which I really love and it looks it looks like a very classy piece yeah so I like it and then um, a pair of oh is this mine? no wait yeah. a pair of earrings as well um, and I got these two things it's, it's all wrapped up um, but yeah it's basically like hair crown so you can wear it this way or you can wear it this way so usually I'll tend to wear it for um, when it's a more much more special occasion like festive occasion then I'll have these and these are very expensive to buy in Singapore they're like 30 Singapore dollars or something um, so I got a clear one as well as sorry, I got a turquoise clear one like that which is really really nice and if you didn't see it clearly, this clear one, which is actually a peacock design, this is the peacock head. Yep. So it's really really nice. And I can't believe that this is two Singapore dollars. Crazy, 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 crazy. Um. Oh, and then I got these two palettes, which I'm gonna do a giveaway with. I'm gonna give this away. Um. I think I'll make two separate giveaways so two people can have them. I, I've actually used the makeup palettes and it's fine. It, it has the same ingredients as the ones that are in e.l.f. makeup palettes so it's fine on me so just give them away. Um, and I bought lashes as well. Yeah. And I might, I might give away these these lashes because I don't really 
wear a lot of lashes so I don't find sense in keeping so many because um, I don't really wear them so I might make it as like a set like giveaway and giveaway so yeah and this one I'll keep for myself just for keepsake and if I do want to wear lashes um yes uh, moving on mm -hmm. bags I bought quite a number of bags this is the first bag that I bought in from Dongmen really like this piece at the side it's just you know really really classy opens up as like so to inside very very spacious bag so I like and then I got another bag which is kind of uh, like a satchel bag so it looks like that and it opens up to the inside um, the bags were a hundred, a hundred and fifty yuan each, if I'm not wrong. And then, but the unique thing about this particular bag is that that's the front, and this is the back. So the back also has like, but it's a full, full flap with pockets. So you know, style wise, if you wear it this way, then it looks like that. If you wear it the other way, then it looks like this. So yeah, that's pretty cool, I thought, you know, so I could have like two styles in one bag. And I really wanted a satchel bag anyway. The last bag that I bought um, is a black bag, a black sling bag. And I've already used this and I really, really like it. It has plenty of pockets. I love things with a lot of pockets because it just keeps everything neatly organized. Um, so, oops side and the front is studded with skulls in the center so I really like this this bag um, can't remember how much I got it for either <laughs> uh, yeah and I got two pairs of shoes while I was in Sunshin got this pair of shoes high heel pumps I'm so glad I got these these were, I remember, 160 yuan, which was about 27 Singapore dollars. And I was like, okay, you know what, fine. I don't know whether... Because I like suede versus patent leather, because I think suede looks more, I don't know, classy, more pricey. Yeah, so I like them, and they were really, really comfortable. So, yeah. And the other pair of shoes that I got were these, um, you know, like Hugh Hefner shoes. I have a pair in red and now I have a pair in like very nice blue with this emblem and I've one been wanting to have this pair ever since I first saw it on wholesale7.net but it keeps getting sold out so when I saw it there I just you know what I'm just gonna buy them yeah um clothes wise I'm just gonna randomly pick out stuff so I got this skirt this printed skirt which I thought was very spring style and very vintage um, print so I really like that although I feel that it's a bit too sheer so I'll probably have to wear um, another skirt in it underneath and then I got this skirt which has tiny 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 oh, I, can't, I don't know what you can see tiny little polka dots on it it's pink skirt very very girly very springy very fresh um, and then on, at the same shop I got another skirt <laughs> I got a tool kind of skirt so it's in grey colour yep so that is that these were 19 yuan if I'm not mistaken yep and I got a tie-dye vest so I thought this was pretty cool I would love to style them up. Um, oh, I got a pair of um, harem pants again in a very vintage print. Um, these I think were more for lounging at home rather than for me to wear them out. Really. Uh, let's see. I got a dress um, which is connected to a pink 
tulle skirt as well so this I don't know I like this outfit it seems it's very French and I have like a belt to cinch it at the waist so it's really really nice um, the other dress that I got from the same shop as that one is this bow printed dress I think it's really cute um, so that's kind of nice these were 35 yuan each so 35 yuan 35 yuan um, and then I got a few tops for work so this is one of the tops that I got for work very simple classic top with a collar and sleeves so I like this very simple very elegant for work um, this is the other th sorry they're crumpled because you know I just got took them out from the bag this is another top it's very sweet looking so this is another top with a pussy bow I've always wanted a shirt with a pussy bow so now I have them and the good thing is that you know if on days where I don't feel like wearing the pussy bow you can actually take it out because there's a button here so that is kind of sweet nice um, and then the last top that I have oops the last top that I got is this lace top yeah I don't know I just like the lace I like the lace detailing on this so I thought that it's really really nice I'll give you guys a close up yeah so yes um so those are all the things that I got from my trip um not exa I didn't get exactly the things that I was really hunting for so that means that it gives me an excuse <laughs> to still shop in Singapore and get the things that I was you know saving um, to buy while I was on holiday but I didn't get the things that I was really searching for but I just got all the other things you know by the way as I was like walking and browsing um, but overall, I still enjoyed shopping there. I would go back. I wish I had more days to shop and just purposefully to just shop and not go for all the touristy sites. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any questions with regards to um, Hong Kong, Macau, or Sunshine, then just put it in the down bar below and I'll definitely get back to you guys. Oh, before I forget, I got this as well from the 990 store. This is really, really nice got this oh and I forgot to mention that my mom got me this necklace while we were in China as well so that is really nice and um, I got this ring which actually I got the ring first and then when my mom saw me buying the ring and then she said that, oh the necklace is the same tone it would go so yeah, so that's it is not really a pair but kind of like a pair. Um, so yeah, now that really concludes everything that I got from my trip. Um, I'm semi broke right now, uh, and I still have things that I want. <laughs> I want to buy in Singapore because I was saving and restricting myself for this trip, and I didn't get all the things that I wanted. So. Um, be prepared there will be at some point a Singapore haul um, and yeah so until my next video if this is a part two um, my yeah my next video which will be a completely different thing um, take care be kind to one another on YouTube and I will talk to you guys soon mm -hmm.